Hey all, welcome to Parker's Reefs. On today's episode, we're gonna talk about alleviating every reefer's nightmare, the dreaded power outage. Alright, thank you for joining me on yet another episode of Parker's Reefs and today, as touched on in the intro, we're going to be talking about this, the EcoFlow Delta portable power station and how it can get you out of every reefer's worst nightmare, apart from maybe splitting a seam on their beautiful display tank, but the dreaded power outage. Now, I'm sure everyone out there that has a reef tank knows you see some lightning or you see some storms or uh, you have a little bit of a flicker of the lights and immediately your mind goes to your reef tank. The many, many thousands of dollars of livestock you have in there, the animals that are now part of your family and how precious they are and how quickly things can turn sour when the power goes out. Now, imagine if I told you there was an option that was completely automated in the event of a power outage, has a super huge capacity battery for long lasting backups for the longest power outage, is completely universal and independent of any equipment you're running, can even power AC devices like your heaters directly from this machine. It's even expandable by including the option to connect more batteries to it or even things like a solar panel should you be experiencing very long power outages during the day. It's completely plug and play, no electronics degree required. And perhaps most importantly for the whole family approval, this device is not built for reef tanks. It is built as a portable power station, primarily for people to take away camping so that they can power up their laptops or charge their smartphones when they are off the grid. But thankfully it has an emergency power supply built into it, which allows it to take power from the grid and then put that out to a device or a number of devices. And should that power from the grid disappear in a power outage, continue to provide that power for many, many hours to come. And that use case is exactly where this device is gonna be an incredible option for power backup on our reef tanks. So with all of those features in mind, I think it is definitely worth investigating this device and see just how it would work for you and your reef tank. And to do that, I figure the best way to go about it is to do an unboxing. We'll go over how you set it up. We'll even go as far as setting it up on a reef tank and maybe even test it running the entire reef tank without any mains power at all. And of course, we'll wrap up with a little bit of a conclusion of some of the features, some of the pros and cons. And of course, at the end, I will give you a link to get some incredible Boxing Day discounts of up to 40 percent off for a huge range of the EcoFlow Delta range of goods. So without any further ado, let's jump into the unboxing and see exactly what you get. All right, so the unit I'm gonna to unbox today is the EcoFlow Delta 2 Max. Now, there are a number of different options and sizes available, and I recommend you have a look on the EcoFlow website to find one that's gonna suit your needs. But this is the device I'll be unboxing today. So it's a pretty big unit, and it does uh, give quite a lot of battery backup. But uh, as you can see, I've got a pretty big reef tank, so I like to make sure I've got plenty of power on tap. Now, unboxing the device, we start off with a very nice, very good unboxing exercise here. Got a nice little EcoFlow box here with our uh, AC in line. And it looks like with our car charger as well, this will plug into the cigarette lighter of your car and then power the battery up should you need to recharge it via the car. Of course, some uh, instructions and a warranty card. And then it looks like we have a nice little DC to DC connector here. So some necessary items to get the device running and of course, how to operate it a little bit of uh, packing foam, and uh, then we're straight into the beast itself. Here we are, the EcoFlow Delta II Max. What a beast of a unit. This one, you can see, is about the size of a small chiller and does weigh about 22, 23 kilos. So it's gonna fit really nicely in the spot like you have on uh, cade aquariums or water boxes, things like that where they leave a cutout or an enclosure for a chiller. Now, I often say I would much rather put the chiller outside and uh, let that heat escape outside of the tank rather than heating up the room that you live in. I think this sort of device could fit in there perfectly. You could run all of your power through this and then this will cover your tank in the event of a power outage. But uh, enough on the use case, let's have a look at some of the uh, device itself. All right, on the front here, we have our on off switch. We have our USB connectors, including USB-A and USB-C. We also have our display panel here, which shows us the amount of power 
hours estimated at our current power draw, our percentage of battery charge, our input wattage if we do have it connected up to AC power or solar power or of course car charging and then very importantly our output power which tells us how much wattage that this device has draining from it which will then help us determine how many hours of battery backup we have. Now, if I turn over to the side here, this side here, you've just got uh, air inducts uh, for your fans. On the back here is where we have our actual power connections. So under this flap at the front here, if I lift that up, hopefully you can see there, we've got two connectors here for inputs. These are both for solar power, or of course, we did see you could hook up your uh, car charger to that as well. The important one here in the middle this is our AC input. If we want to use this as a automated battery backup, this is the power we want to hook up. And then we also have a little safety switch here. Beneath that, we have four AC outputs. These are 240 volt Australian connectors. These will provide up to 10 amps or 2,400 watts of power through the four combined. So anything your standard Australian power point can handle, these four are gonna provide for you in total as well. So heaps and heaps of capability there. Then beneath here, we do also have a couple of DC outputs, including a uh, little cigarette uh, 12 volt adapter there as well. Not that I think many devices use that these days, but uh, should you need to, you can. Now, one important thing to note is there is a power button on each one of these. You turn that on or off if you wanna turn that power off. You can also control that through the app, which we'll go through shortly. And then finally on this side is the ability to hook up extra batteries. I touched on the fact that this device was completely expandable and you also have these connectors on the side here. Should you want to run even more battery backup to it, the EcoFlow make it possible for you to hook up additional batteries so you've got a big monster of power there to get you through, well, probably the apocalypse because it's going to last a very, very long time. Now there also is a super quick setup in the app if you want to view the device on your phone, which basically you download the app, automatically it discovers your device, you agree to the guidelines, then it goes about asking for your Wi-Fi details, you can search for your Wi-Fi, you want to connect to the 2.4 gigahertz network only, pop your password in, the device will then bind the machine up into their server so that you can access it wherever you are. And as simply as that, it is done. Now you can now be able to see, you get a little bit of information here and you'll be able to see what power usage you have, what power generation you have. It's as quick and simple as that. All right, onto the physical install of the unit itself and it really could not get much more simple than this. Other than finding a physical location to put the device, you realistically just need to work out what devices you wanna run off the battery backup. Now, I would prioritize things like your wave makers, return pumps and skimmer pumps to keep that water oxygenated for as long as possible. However, with the large pure sine wave inverter that the EcoFlow has and the very generous battery backup size in there, you can run a lot more things like your heater, potentially your chiller and even lights. In fact, you could run your entire tank off this backup if you wanted to. However, it would mean that it would drain the battery a bit quicker. But thankfully with the display on the other side that shows you the amount of power you're drawing from the system and then tells you in air hours how long the battery is going to last for you can mix and match things if you're getting a little bit low on power pull things like your lights out if your temperature is not too bad unplug your heater or chiller it's going to make sure your wave makers return pumps and skimmers run for the longest time possible now once you've found a location for the device you've plugged in your high priority devices all you need to do is provide that power so that this unit remains fully charged and that it can get power in from the grid to pass out to these things when the power is there it's as simple as lifting up this flap here you'll see the ac input here you grab the cable that comes supplied with the unit plug that in there grab the other end plug that into your standard australian power outlet and uh, you're good to go. Realistically, you do need to make sure that the AC output for the inverter is on. You can do that by pressing the button there, or you can do that via the app. And I would also recommend there is a setting which says if it detects there's no power drawing from these outputs, it will actually automatically switch this off after a set amount of time. You can set that to never, which is probably a good idea just in case you unplug things. You don't want this to then turn off and you plug them back in expecting it to run and it doesn't. So set that to never and it will never turn off. But bear in mind, if you do take this unit off to go camping or put in storage, you want to manually switch that back off again. Realistically, guys, that's as easy as it is. But to test that theory, I'm going to take this into my local fish shop and ask my good friend Blake to see if he can back up an entire Cade Frag Tank in as little as a minute. Let's go do it. 
All right, Blake is just plugging the power into the EcoFlow. Now he's hooking in the two power boards on the Cade. And then just hit that, oh no, it's already powered up. We're all good. Was that hard, Blake? Set up your first ever battery backup? It's very easy. <laughs> <laughs> Very easy. So you're able to just turn that uh, display around for us there. Let's just have a look. So this is currently running in a full backup mode. And you can see that because the power that's going into the unit is matching the power that's coming out. And uh, we're currently 100% charged. Can I get you to do one thing for me, Blake? Can I get you to pull the power in to the unit out so that we're just running off the battery? So this is simulating a power outage. It's no longer connected to the mains. The entire tank is now running purely off the battery. And uh, that's including lights, flow, skimmer, return. Everything is running there. Realistically, you probably wouldn't have the lights hooked up to your battery backup, but even with them and with no solar input or anything like that, we're drawing 275 watts and we've got seven hours of battery backup there that automatically kicks in. Not bad for a system that took, what, 20 seconds to plug in? Yeah. It's great. <laughs> nice one. And uh, can you show us, uh, if you plug that power back in. Beautiful, that's automatically now putting power back in. It's matching the power that's coming out and making sure that our battery's fully charged. And that fits in pretty nicely in that uh, little Cade enclosure there. Yes, fits perfectly. Almost like it was built for it without me breaking everything. <laughs> Just like that. Sits in there even better than a chiller would, would you say? Yeah, heaps of room. Like a glove, nicely done. Now, I did mention earlier that you can hook up a solar panel and of course, EcoFlow have their own solar panel, which is foldable that can plug into this unit. Very, very neat setup. And when I set it up in my backyard, just to test the wattage, because it was quoted at 220 watts, check this out, 203 watts of power going in. If you think about that Cade Frag Tank, we are almost matching the power that entire system was running at free of charge off the sun, meaning that you could back that tank up while the sun was out all day without draining the battery, and then still get another seven or eight hours of backup overnight. Really, really impressive for an option that simply plugs into the setup. Now, I know a number of you are probably wondering how big this is and whether it's gonna fit into uh, various setups that you may have. Now, this is the smallest of Cade caddies that uh, Cade offer. Has that nice little panel in front there to mount your controllers. And you can see this unit, which is the Delta II Max, a fairly large option, I will say, fits in there beautifully and still leaves you enough room to put things like dosing containers, dosing pumps, and anything else you might wanna put in there realistically. And of course, it's not just the uh, Cade systems that this fits in. You can see here the Aquaforest Ocean Guard, which has this beautiful acrylic sump, lovely display tank. I couldn't help but wonder whether we could fit the EcoFlow into the little uh, dry compartment there. And look how much room there is. Still heaps and heaps of rooms for all of your other dry equipment to fit in there as well, whilst running all of your power through that battery backup. Now, just a couple of quick tips when you are looking to work out which one of these is going to suit you and your reef tank is a couple of specs to look at. So when we go to their page, scroll right to the bottom, get past all of this very nice information and get down to this uh, comparison and specifications down here. Now, there is obviously the sizing that you need to be aware of. Make sure it's going to fit into your reef tank. Weight's an important thing too, to make sure that you can actually physically maneuver this device about when you need to. But the real things you really want to look at are obviously the capacity and the output. Now, the big ones here, like I'm running the Delta II Max, have got a 2,400 watt output, which is massive. It's realistically more than you're going to run for most things on a battery backup on your reef tank. But when we look at some of the smaller and more affordable versions, that does cut back down a little bit. Now, the next thing we want to look at is the capacity. Now, this is 2,048 watt hours. When you work out what devices you want to run on your battery backup, you will be able to find the watts they utilize. For example, a lot of pumps will run about 30 watts an hour and you can divide the number of watts by the number of watt hours here and that's going to tell you how many hours approximately that the backup is going to run for and obviously the more things you add on the longer that's uh, well the shorter that battery backup is going to be 
So the Delta II Max here is a beast of a unit with a huge 2,400 watt output capacity as well as a 2,048 watt hour capacity there. Massive, massive unit. Now that's that's all good and well, but you might be thinking, Sam, I've got a little nano tank. I don't want uh, this massive unit the size of my reef tank on its own. There are other options. If you have a look at things like the EcoFlow River series and maybe even have a look at one of the little baby units here like uh, the River 2 Pro, this little guy here is gonna do a nice job. Let's scroll down and have a look at the specs of him. And uh, you can see here the capacity is 760 watt hours, which is still very, very good. If you are looking to run something like a wave maker, that's gonna run it for about 20 hours. Obviously two wave makers are gonna bring that down to about 10 hours and so on and so on. And if we have a look at the uh, output, let's have a look, AC output here, pure sine wave, 800 watt total. So a maximum of 800 watt total output there, which is gonna be well and above any sort of wave maker you're running. So if the big boy is not gonna suit your needs, have a look into one of these River Series units as well, because they may fit the budget a little bit better as well. Lots and lots of options on the EcoFlow website. Jump on there and check it out and find the one that suits you and your reef tank. All right, guys, there you have it. That is the EcoFlow Delta II portable power station. And in my opinion, a very solid option for a battery backup to save our reef tank in the dreaded case of a power outage. With its automated abilities, the huge power output, the massive battery capacity, the fact that it is expandable with more batteries or even solar panels, and the fact that it's completely plug and play and universal to any equipment you have, I think it needs to be considered as a very, very viable option. Now, I did promise at the start of the video that I would also include some links to get you the prices for the Boxing Day sale on EcoFlow products, whether it be the Delta 2 Max like I've got here, or even some of their smaller or even bigger options of battery backups or portable power stations as they call them. Check out the links below. I've got one for directly for their website. I've got one for Amazon Australia and one for eBay Australia up to 45% off with those links. So if you were gonna pull the trigger on a battery backup, now would be the time to do it. Something like this is a solid investment. And like I did mention earlier, you can also use it away from your reef tank if that helps you get the approval for purchase from other members in your family. Other than that, guys, I don't have anything else to say. I hope you enjoyed a video like this one where we covered a slightly left field product on the channel. I think it's got great use cases in the hobby. So I hope that you did enjoy the video. I do wanna give a Quick shout out to my channel members on screen here. These guys chip in a couple of dollars each and every month to make all of these videos possible and I humbly appreciate your support. Other than that guys, I think I'll leave you with it. I hope you've been enjoying the two videos each and every weekend right through to the end of the year. I will keep that up, I promise. So I look forward to seeing you next time with even more incredible reefing content. Till then guys, stay safe, keep reefing. Cheers, bye.